This is Jenny. Jenny has a tumor growing deep in her lungs that she doesn't know about yet. But it's starting to cause problems, and if it's not found soon, Jenny will almost certainly die. Fortunately, Jenny lives in the 21st century, when doctors can find deadly tumors like hers using groundbreaking medical imaging technology. In the old days, if a doctor wanted to avoid exploratory surgery, he would only have one way of seeing inside a patient. The X-ray machine was invented in 1895 and, for many decades, was our only way of viewing inside the body. But X-rays have limitations for cancer diagnosis. They only show bones and large masses. Small but aggressive tumors, like Jenny's, would go unnoticed. We are, in many cases, in many patients, too late with our diagnostics. There are already metastases, the tumor is not curable anymore, and uh, this is what we want to avoid. In the 1970s, researchers found a way to use computers to combine multiple X-rays from different angles, and the CT scanner was born. Now, doctors could see in three dimensions and with much more definition, revealing details of internal organs as well as bones. If Jenny was scanned at this point in history, the doctors might have spotted her tumor as a mass on the CT scan. What they wouldn't know is what the tumor is doing. Is it active and growing, or does it seem benign? These questions were answered by PET scans. In PET technology, a radioactive tracer is attached to a carrier molecule that is designed to go straight to the tumor. Then special cameras record the tracer's path through the body. Radio pharmaceuticals revolutionized medicine because they allowed us to see beyond the visible and understand the metabolic activity inside a tumor. These images started grainy, but greatly improved over the years. By displaying the biochemistry uh, in the living body, you can uh, improve the prediction of outcome, so you can better guide treatment, and you have a better a prediction of the prognosis of the patient, for example, survival. PET will make an aggressive tumor, even a very tiny one, glow like a light in the dark. But without any anatomical landmarks, Jenny's doctors would have found it hard to precisely locate the tumor. The combination of PET with CT in the early 2000s solved this problem and really changed the game for medical imaging. These advanced hybrid images not only help doctors detect and locate very small tumors, they also show if a tumor has spread from its original site. The next step in the evolution of medical imaging combined the PET approach with an MRI. This provides even more detail and is helpful in particularly tricky cases, like when the tumor is in organs such as the brain or the liver. Using radiopharmaceuticals for PET and combining this information with that coming from the CT or the MRI will really provide good details for the diagnosis and the follow-up of the patients. But the most exciting thing for me is combining that information with the use of radiopharmaceuticals for targeted therapies. That is something that we call teranostics. The radioactive tracer used in PET imaging is designed to travel straight to a tumor to help us see and understand it. But teranostics takes this a step further. By changing the radioactive element in the tracer, we can turn it into a guided bullet, tailored to track down cancer cells and destroy them without harming the organs nearby. With all these breakthroughs in imaging and personalized medicine, Jenny's doctors can now find her tumor at an early stage. They can tell how aggressive it is and see if it's spread, and they can even use that technology to target and destroy it providing treatment tailored to exactly what is happening inside her body gives Jenny a much higher chance of survival.